Elisa Williams with Remax Success and this today we are visiting Amy and Jamie's place. So here we are in Templeton and this is Amy. Hi. Hi Amy, how are you today? I'm wonderful on this gorgeous day. It feels like summer. I know. I was shocked. I'm I'm dressed ready for how it was last week. Yes, me so too. this is Amy and Jamie and that's Jamie. Jamie's over there. Jamie. Doing dishes. Jamie's <laughs> doing the dishes. Okay. Yes. So you have been here. We came in July 1st. We took over the space after the wellness kitchen uh, retired. Okay. Yeah. I love the wellness kitchen. They really helped me through a, um, mm -hmm. well, through Valley Fever. But you have some amazing food products, and you've got more. Do we have so many local products that we loved before we got here, and found many, many more. A lot of them are our good friends as small businesses in a small community. We support all local businesses personally, and we thought since we had the opportunity to come into this space that. We really felt the need to help others by, because we had the means, and we have this amazing space surrounded by all these wonderful healthcare workers that now we support on a day-to-day -day basis with great food and healthy food. And we thought, how far we could create a really great community space where we would serve all of our foods as well as carry other products from all of our local businesses. So people can come in and do like a one-stop shop. Um, we have a lot of gifts. We have a lot of food items, gourmet foods, olive oils. Um, as you see, we have local taffy, some mm. great snack items, some giffy items, um, wonderful olive, local olive oils, of course, because we are so lucky to be blessed with great olive oil around here. I, olive trees, obviously. Indeed. And what we've just added is, uh, because of COVID, we've had a lot of local chefs reach out to us and, you know, because their hours have been cut and because of COVID and they're coming in and cooking with us. So we're going to be able to pass on some really amazing foods to our customers and we're now adding dinner. So we're going to be doing Wednesday and Friday night dinners every week and we're open until six and they pick up from four to six. Um, you're welcome to do curbside pickup because we have tons of parking. Yes, you do. And we also open on Saturdays. Oh, that's new. Mm -hmm. Seven to three every day, except Wednesdays and Fridays till six. Closed on Sundays, but we're usually here because we make um, Joe Bella burritos for um, Joe Bella coffee. Cool. And we, so we're usually in here on Sundays too. You can find us. And, we do serve Joe Bella coffee, and we also serve our nutrient-packed veggie pods here, which is our creation that we developed. Um, we launched it last year. It's a blend of um, locally sourced, mostly green ingredients, and 12 to 15 ingredients. We blend them whole and inject them in a little pod and then freeze it. So when you're ready for a nutrient-packed, low-sugar, low-calorie smoothie, you just pop the pod out of the freezer. And it will blend it with nine ounces of liquid and you're done. Oh, and I love smoothies. Yeah. So um, that was what we were doing before we arrived in here. And now we're doing a whole bunch of things. Wow. And you've got some really stellar chefs cooking for you, cooking with you. With Jamie. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, we have a wide range of pastry items in the morning. We open at 7 because a lot of the hospital workers get off at 7 if they're on the overnight shift. So. Jamie specializes in his one pound burritos that have uh, <laughs> this beautiful potato mixture and eggs and then chorizo, bacon or sausage and a vegetarian. Instead of rice and beans, we do this really wonderful potato mixture. So this is really the essential community. It is. It's, this is who we're taking care of every day and we feel really blessed that we can give back to these people that are helping all of us stay safe and healthy. Amazing. Um, they work really hard. Um, what we were really struck by that there's no food around here. When we used to come down here for doctor appointments, we've only lived in Paso for four years. 
Um, I come from the Bay Area, and Jamie comes from Newport Beach, Southern Cal, and then we got married and lived down there. But what we found from coming from really congested areas, like mm -hmm. how can this doctor office area with the hospital and all of these essential offices not have any food establishments? There's only one down the street on Mexican food, but nowhere even to get a cup of coffee. Yeah. So that, ha you know, that kind of thought, you know, we really thought that these people could really use some really great breakfast items, lunch, salads, wonderful soups, chili. We do everything now. So. Yeah, because you're here on the corner of Las Tablas and Posada. And, and Posada. And uh, the entrance is in the back, which is a little tricky. Um, but we have tons of parking, and um, we're working on our signage. We opened with <laughs> zero budget. So the signage is coming. Um, we're working on some signage right now, and we'll have some up in the next week. But uh, usually people find us, or they call us, and we say, come to the back, because they're usually here, but they can't find the entrance. Right, right. Well, if you're hungry, you got to check out Amy and Jamie's. And there are all kinds of gift items, too. So check them out in Templeton. Got an amazing menu. Check it out, Templeton. <laughs>